Tribe One is an urban resource center and community center, and our mission is to prepare youth, young adults, and their families for active citizenship in their community, and we do that through leadership development, educational enrichment, and entrepreneurial training. Well, the whole spirit and the whole feel of Tribe One is about citizenship, how to be family, how to be a good community member. Uh, we teach our young people the importance of keeping their neighborhood beautiful, and that's done through things such as urban gardening and beautification. In our urban gardening program, the kids are involved in planting the seeds, weeding, mowing the grass, and also harvesting the food. So they see the cycle from their food going in the ground until it's picked and ready to be eaten. The idea started with one of our founders, Danny Mayfield, and he used to stand in Mechanicsville, which is an inner city part of Knoxville, and sell collard greens to people in the community. That spirit has been carried over to Tribe One now, where our youth are engaged in learning about food and learning the, you know, the way how they can transfer their entrepreneurial skills to a garden and so our kids are working on getting our fruit and vegetables into um, neighborhood Kroger's and also our farmers market and that also teaches the job skills and taking ownership of something seeing it through to fruition and then using it for a positive whether that be for income or whether that be giving back to a homeless family or, or a soup kitchen. And that's a way of citizenship because we feel like that's something that's a lost art, farming and gardening. Another thing that we do to help um, foster the citizenship is through our Children's Defense Fund Freedom Schools. And Freedom Schools is traditionally a six-week program in the summer, but we're also rolling it into our after-school program. And the curriculum focuses on fostering a love of reading for our youth. So normally where kids wouldn't be exposed to books that feature African-American authors or African-American illustrators, they're able to see books that have kids that look like them, that are written by authors that came from their own communities, and that address issues that they are involved in, such as foster care or coming from a single parent household. The dropout crisis seriously affects our community because what that does is that it causes a significant break in the people who are ready to go into the job force. If you don't have your high school diploma or your GED, you can't even get a job at McDonald's or what we consider to be entry-level jobs. Here in East Knoxville, the schools that we serve primarily suffer from the highest dropout rates in East Tennessee. And we also are concerned about the low testing scores and the lack of family in involvement. And we think that all three of those things are, are together and they work hand in hand. So without family involvement or without high educational achievement or an educational enrichment, the dropout rates tend to be higher. So Tribe One feels like we're right in the midst of this battle and in the trenches with the youth and families that suffer the most from dropout. In addition to that, if kids aren't in school and they're dropping out, where are they and what are they doing when they're supposed to be in school? So that also leads to, you know, uh, activities that aren't positive during the day when they should be in a school setting. And so I think that we've got to strengthen our job force and we've got to provide um, more productive, positive activities for our youth to be involved in so that they're not lured to the other side with negative activities. Our primary program that we have to address the dropout crisis is our after school programming. Currently we serve kindergarten through eighth grade and so of course that's entry, that's getting the basics of study habits, how to conduct yourself in a school setting, um, focusing on disciplinary problems, making sure that kids are behaving both in and out of school. But in addition to that, we have mentoring programs, and our mentoring programs focus on middle and high school. So when you outgrow an after-school program, what do you have in place? And traditionally, there are a lot of nonprofits that have after-school programs for elementary or even middle school, but what happens to those kids when they age out? And so our mentorship program helps keep the track on those kids and provide caring adults and positive activities for them to be involved in. And that's also a way we address a dropout. The third thing that we do is our screen printing which is an in-house t-shirt making um, company and what we do with our youth is we train them how to make t-shirts and also how to do graphic design so they can have tangible job skills that don't necessarily hinge on them going to college or having advanced degrees but something they can do right now with their hands and that they can immediately use to put themselves in the workforce and by them having tangible job skills we feel that addresses the dropout rate as well. Tribe One Screen Printing is our social enterprise that really helps us generate revenue to keep our nonprofit afloat and all of our programs that we offer are free here so by us having a revenue making business we're able to keep our programming low cost or free for our, for our families. 
Also what screen printing does is it gives young people, young adults and youth, an opportunity to be hands-on in a new, completely new environment, such as graphic design. We had an intern this year named Jordan Talent who was 18 and just graduated from high school. He had a six-week internship with us, and by the end of our internship, he was taking our customer jobs and creating all of our artwork for our customers independently of our head graphic designer. So that's an awesome success story to see that something as difficult as graphic design can be taught and can be mastered by an 18-year-old and how he was able to use that for his resume. He's developed an online portfolio and he's able to get great jobs and use it for college. So screen printing is just a small microcosm of what we would hope to cause in Knoxville, to be able to provide jobs, to be able to provide a positive place for young people to practice their job skills and for them to learn responsibility, how to shake someone's hand, how to show up at work on time. And these are all skills that will be necessary for them later in life. I think it's so important to give or help young people find their voices. Um, these, this is our next generation, and so if we're not proactive about equipping and empowering our young people, we will not have a future generation of leaders that are going to be proactive and are not going to be empathetic towards their own communities. So coupled with the job skills that we provide youth and their families with at Tribe One and supporting them in school and making sure that they make their education a priority, we know that that will help prevent the dropout that we're seeing. By having a caring team that shows a child or a youth or even a family that we've got your back, we'll help you with your homework, we'll explain this math problem to you, or we'll teach you how to, how to talk right, we say in our community, how to speak properly. These all aid in a child being able to successfully graduate from high school, and ultimately that's what we want to see happen. Um, here at Tribun, we, we want to be extended family. We feel like there has been a breakdown in families, whether it be due to foster care, whether it be to prison, whether it be to drugs or death even. And so we are trying to basically fill in those gaps of children and even adults that don't have caring people around them. And building community person by person, family by family will impact our community in a larger way.